Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we are in the 37th episode of this series and today we have Santosh here with us who has been recently placed at Infosys as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria given for this company. All students belonging to CSE, IT, ECE and Tripoli branches were eligible, provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Santosh to understand his experience interviewing for this company. Santosh, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So, Thank you so much. Yeah, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me here, Jishnu. My name is Santosh, I am from Andhra Pradesh. I am currently pursuing my bachelor's degree in Computer Science and Engineering core branch from VIT Chennai. And uh, uh, regarding my technical skills, uh, I am a machine learning enthusiast. And uh, I develop uh, from, past two, from past years, I am developing my skills in uh, machine learning, deep learning and image processing. And uh, I did my internship in the focused role as a machine learning engineer. Uh, and uh, I recently got placed in Infosys uh, uh, as a specialist programmer. That's all about me. Okay, that's great. Uh, thank you so much. You cannot help us us about the process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, uh, nearly two months back in August, I guess. In August uh, 4th or 5th, uh, we got a shortlist for online assessment. Okay. Uh, nearly 8,700 people are shortlisted for online assessment. Like all the people who apply for the Infosys Specialist Programmer, all the people got linked for an online assessment. Okay. And uh, there are total three questions and... Uh, uh, two questions are medium and one question is hard. Okay. Uh, uh, for me, the two medium questions has been completed and the question is uh, based on uh, one DP question, one uh, graph question. And again, uh, the hard question is also on graph question. Okay. Uh, for me, uh, the two the two medium questions are, are completed. Like uh, one graph question and one DP question has been completed. And that uh, hard question only like uh, 60%. Like uh, uh, out of 12, like 6 to 7 test cases only completed. Okay. Like after uh, two months, like August, right? August 4th, our exam has been completed, online assessment. Hmm. August, September, October 4th. Like October 4th, my interview has been scheduled. One week before of my interview, I got a mail from uh, CDC, like, uh, you have a face to face interview in, um, at Infosys campus. Hmm. Uh, please select the location. I selected the location in the Google form and uh, I sent. After one week, I got a, a, mail, I got a mail from uh, Infosys campus, uh, like uh, from Infosys organization. They sent me uh, your interview is scheduled on 4th October uh, so that you can come uh, come here for face to face interview you will, will be having. They said, okay, fine. And I went to the Infosys campus. Uh, at there, uh, like there are many people, uh, there are many people are there. Nearly there, uh, from various campuses, many people will come. Nearly 60 to 50 uh, people will come. Okay. Students for uh, interview hmm. from various campuses. Hmm. Uh, and uh, at there, uh, from uh, few people are face to face interview, few online. Okay. okay. For me, I got an online interview. Okay. So she connected from she connected in teams from Kolkata, I guess. I don't remember her name properly. Okay, fine. After that, uh, only one one ass one online assessment and one uh, interview. interview. That's it. Okay. Like two rounds only in this role. Hmm. And uh, the interview process started with the introduction. Hmm. Uh, after that, uh, she said that this role is basically on only coding, only coding. Uh, like without coding, you can't uh, get into this. Uh, she said yes, okay, ma'am. Uh, then after that, she. Uh, which platform you are uh, uh, good then I said the time I will do coding on uh, lead code ma'am then she said she given me like uh, many lead code links DSC questions L like uh, nearly she gives six to seven questions on the chart in MS Teams then I need to code in front of her uh, but uh, she given me uh, like uh, first she, she starts with uh, some basic standard questions like uh, valid parenthesis I'll reverse a linking list and uh, find a cycle in the linking list few of few of the questions are already coded in my lead code profile she saw that uh, that is the point where she impressed actually okay uh, and after that uh, she changes the question as uh, already coded in the lead code platform she changes the questions and uh, like nearly six to seven questions she asked on dsa after that uh, she went into like uh, uh, oops oops uh, like she asked me to us of the oops and i, I told uh, with examples everything like and after that uh, she went into dbms uh, some theory questions and every core concept she coming back into the DSA again. Mm. Okay, and she asked me my, I mean like my my programming language. My, my name was Python. She asked me some questions uh, like standard questions like a triple uh, list difference and uh, 
like uh, uh, dictionary these questions and uh, uh, bfs dfs tables this uh, q d q these questions was asked uh, by her and mm. uh, after that uh, she went into uh, dbms as uh, sql and oops also uh, she she sh- she touches some uh, system design question also but i don't answer that question she is okay fine no issue with this and uh, yeah and uh, basically dp is more important for this interview okay nearly uh, out of 8700 people uh, who attended the online test uh, 180 people are shortlisted for the interview 187 people from whole all four campuses hmm. and after that uh, uh, after within two weeks after two weeks of my interview october 4th right october 24th i got a result that uh, was accepted for the interview okay okay that's great congratulations again and do you have any suggestions for other people yeah basically uh, only only thing is dsa without mm. data structures and algorithms you, you are not, not even uh, get into this uh, this role mostly because the that the three questions uh, which is given in online assessment is very tough basically mm. so uh, mostly dp without dp also uh, actually it depends on interviewer some of my friends also got some uh, easy interviewers depends on luck also they not even ask dp also for some uh, some people uh, of my friends so like but uh, for me i got some dp questions also okay so, because mostly dp out of 10 there are 10 people 10 panels eight panel interviewers will definitely ask dp to depends on luck basically. okay okay so you did including everything you did it in python is it yeah yeah everything in python okay 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 that's great thank you so much for sharing your experience and for your suggestions yeah thank, thank you, you. Thank you all for watching please do like share and subscribe and let me know which company you would like next